Good day farmers, my name is Ivanai Gonzo, an agronomist with ZFC. Welcome to our series of programs where we share information that is ZFC we feel is important and will add value to our farming ventures. Some farmers often complain that pesticides they are using are not working. But the problem may not be with the chemical. In most cases, it will be that their spraying equipment may not have been calibrated correctly or they are using either wrong or worn out nozzles. Malfunctioning nozzles have huge financial implications as you may end up applying more than what is necessary or there will be that need to reapply a particular product or the entire crop may be destroyed by pests or diseases due to poor spray coverage. So a nozzle may be small in size but its importance is very big. You therefore must make sure that you are using the right nozzle for the right spraying situation for improved efficacy of the product and to contain costs. There are many different types of nozzles that are used in agriculture. But in this discussion, we will only concentrate on three main types that are common in our different spraying situations. We will start with the flat jet or deflector nozzle. This type of nozzle produces a very wide deflector type flat spray pattern up to two meters with bigger droplets. So it is popular with application of pre-emergent herbicides. Because of the big droplets that are produced, spray drift is therefore reduced. Its round orifice minimizes clogging which also makes it suitable for applying liquid fertilizers where clogging is a potential problem. The nozzle is generally not suitable for conduct herbicide application. The second type of nozzle is the hollow cone nozzle. This type of nozzle provides a finely atomized mist and a very uniform hollow cone spray pattern which appears like a ring where all the liquid jet is concentrated on the outer edge of the ring. Generally, this type of nozzle is used to apply insecticides or fungicides in field crops where we need penetration and complete coverage of the foliage. Spray drift potential is higher from holocon nozzles than from other nozzles due to the small droplets that are produced. And generally, this type of nozzle should not be used to apply herbicides. Then we have the flat fan nozzle. This type of nozzle is a spray pattern that is tapered at the edges. It delivers more in the center of the spray pattern and less at the edges. Therefore, it requires for an overlap of adjoining nozzles spray pattern for uniform distribution of the chemical. Generally, this type of nozzle is used for the application of herbicides and some insecticides where foliage penetration is not critical. So, to avoid poor pest and disease control, crop damage and increased costs, a regular check of the boom sprayer or nepsec sprayer is advisable. Thank you for your time and hoping to see you soon at ZFC where we help you get a better crop. Bye for now.